go with him to the Pungo Prairie. My partner, Alan, just brought by these two Canada geese that his boys, White and Davis, shot on Back Bay yesterday. Because I told him, hey, if y'all get some geese, bring me a couple. I want to smoke them. So I know I did a video on smoking Canada geese uh, quite a few years back. But a lot of folks, they don't like to look at the old videos. They like to look at the new videos. So if you want to see how we smoke these Canada geese here on the Pungo Prairie, don't go nowhere because you don't want to miss this. First thing I'm going to do is make up a brine so it can be cooling out while I'm out there dressing those birds. Pajamas off. This goose down, make a nice warm vest. Take them inside to the sink and wash them up. Last of that blood out of there. <laughs> People think you just go to the store and get a chicken or a turkey or a goose or a duck out of the display case. He's all wrapped up nice and neat. 
Okie dokie. Shortest brine has been simmering long enough. Take that outside and let it cool down. Sit right down here. One of those cold pavers. Take a lid off. It ought to cool down pretty quick. Well, it's supposed to be 40 degrees Fahrenheit or below for the next three or four days. So I'm just going to let these geese sit here in this brine in this little tub out here on the porch um, for the next three days and hope that a bear or a possum or a raccoon can't figure out how to get the lid off. Our little diva dog, devil, Cali girl. <laughs> Now it's really brutally cold out there today. The wind's blowing a good steady 20 to 25 knots gusting to 35. Uh, the wind chill is down in the lower teens if not the single digits. So we're going to keep our fingers crossed and hope we can get enough heat going and keep it going in that little smoker out there to get our geese done in about six hours time. Just throw another stick of wood on the fire here and we're going to make up a couple of dipping sauces to accent the flavor of those geese we got on the smoker out there. First thing we're going to make is a, a brandied raspberry sauce and then we're going to make a honey mustard and horseradish sauce. Except for one small problem. I don't have any brandy. I thought I had brandy down there in the liquor cabinet. I don't even have any apricot brandy. I drink all that. Uh, but I do have some cognac. And one thing I've learned when you're living out in the country and you run out of something you need and you don't uh, really feel like running all the way back to the store, well, you improvise. And sometimes in that improvision, um, you'll find discovery and maybe even find a better way. So I think it's going to be okay with the cognac. Um, so that's what we're going with. Is it Just mash them raspberries up a little bit in them with that, that uh, raspberry all fruit, that cognac, and 
you got brandied raspberry sauce for smoked Canada geese made with cognac. I try to use this yellow napkin right here as a gauge. It's kind of like a, a paint chart. <laughs> I mix the uh, the color of the mustard and mayonnaise till I get something close to that napkin. I don't want it to be too pale, but I don't want it to be too mustardy either. Mustardy? <laughs> Is that a word? Mustardy? horse the horseradish and I like a healthy dose uh, of horseradish that's probably at least a couple tablespoons that's a prepared horseradish that you can adjust to your desired level of heat I guess and now some honey what I'm sorry we don't have actually is some blue line bee honey that our buddy Sean, who is a beekeeper and has his apiaries right behind the restaurant. And that's really local honey there now. <laughs> now there's no hard and fast rule here. This is simply a taste test to your liking. And I think I'm gonna leave it right there. <laughs> you think they're for you, don't you? <laughs> don't you lick that goose, no. Goodness, they're beautiful. Tally, you're sniffing out that mouse, aren't you, baby? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna find it too. Oh my goodness, these geese are beautiful. Been in a smoker for six hours with that apple wood and that cherry wood. They gotta cool out overnight and they'll be ready to eat tomorrow.
Dear Lord, thank you for the rich bounty of your forest fields and streams and wild creatures such as these Canada geese that you provided to nourish our bodies and strengthen us for a life in thee. Through Jesus we pray. Amen. Oh, oh, that is so good. That little bit of baked brie on that toasted baguette with the uh, smoked goose and that brandied raspberry sauce made with cognac. Mmm. That is Epicurean, y'all. Mmm. Pinot Noir. By my good friend and our new uh, assistant pit master, Todd Lanham, at the restaurant. Gonna try some now with the honey mustard horseradish sauce. Now, when I do that, I just like the sauce with the geese only. I don't know which one I like better, the raspberry sauce or the honey mustard and horseradish sauce. That's not just Epicurean, that's epic Epicurean right there. This Artistari Pinot Noir, it's a private label of Todd. Y'all ought to try that sometime. That is smooth stuff right there. It's the perfect wine to go with these geese. I hope y'all enjoyed watching this video, uh, smoking up these Canada geese. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it, and I don't get to do it that often, at least once a year. Hopefully, I'll get a pair that my buddies will bring to me. I don't do uh, waterfowl hunting myself. I go with my friends a lot uh, when I have the occasion and video them, uh, them doing it. Kill them, boys. Uh, I'm more into hunting big game. Uh, I sort of like eating these uh, geese and ducks and uh, doves, pheasants and quail and everything that all my other buddies bring to me here. Uh, this right here is how you make any Canada goose a greater Canada goose. We hope you come back and see us again here on the Pungo Prairie. Uh, until next time, God bless. Hell and girl and I love you. Stay safe. Hey y'all, welcome to the Pungo Prairie. Now my buddy David had a great morning shooting wood ducks over his pond in Suffolk. And he brought me a couple of brace. And I'm gonna show y'all how to cook them up the Pungo Prairie way. So don't go nowhere, cause you don't wanna miss this. Now I told you, we are gonna honor the majesty of that gorgeous little bird. I think we did. Pretty work, boys. Hey, all right. Pretty work. I told you I was going to get my redneck back. 